Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be continuing off of the previous, tutor uh, previous tutorials that we've done on our RPG tutorial series, and we are going to be setting up some more movement capabilities on our character. So, uh, let's get started right away. So, with our character selected, we'll go to Edit Our Character, and we'll come in here. Now, um, first thing we're going to want to do is click on Character Movement, right, and we'll scroll all the way down until we find nav movement all right and we want to click this little drop down here for movement capabilities all right and we want to look for this this can crouch can jump can walk etc all right so if we want our character to be able to crouch we need to check this can crouch um, and if we want him to be able to fly we need to check can fly you know maybe that might be ridiculous but I'll just check it just in case we ever want to all right so we can go ahead and compile and save and now we're going to go add some, you know, input events that will allow us to, you know, crouch or jump or sprint, etc. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings, and let's go to Input, and we're going to create some action mappings. So click the drop down, and let's add two for now. So this first one, we're going to call it Crouch, and for the key, I'm going to do Left Control. Uh, and maybe the C key, oops, the C key, that should be under keyboard. Um, but you know, you can use whatever whatever keys work for you. I'm just going to use this for now. All right. And now for the other one, we'll type sprint, All right? So this will be for sprinting. And for the first key, I'll say left shift. And I guess I'll set it up for the if you're ever if you're like a right-handed player maybe right shift um, and then I guess one last thing we can do is you know set it up to be or to work with a uh, you know a, a game a gamepad or a controller so we'll add one more key and for this we're going to say face button right right and for sprint we will say left oops I'm not typing we'll say left thumbstick down all right, so this is going to be like your left analog stick. You know, when you press it down, you'll start sprinting, and then the face button right will be like whatever, whatever is the rightmost button on the on your uh, you know your gamepad. So for the Xbox One, I believe that's the B button, and then for the PS4, I think that's the circle button. So I could be wrong, but um, I think I'm right. Anyways, so with that set up, we can exit out of the project settings, um, and we'll go back to our character. And now we can add the these uh, extra functionalities. So let's find some open space, and we'll add the jump event first. So let's right click, and we'll type jump, oops, jump, and we'll choose the action event. All right now, Unreal has a lot of built-in movement capabilities. So one of those includes a jump function. So we can drag off and type jump, and we'll just simply select jump, and this will do the jumping for us. Now off of released, we want to say stop jumping. And just like that, we've got our basic jumping setup. So we can comment that out, calling it jump. All right, so if I were to press play really quick, I can now press space bar and I can jump. So um, next thing we're going to add is the crouching. All right, so to do that, let's right click, type crouch, and we'll choose the action event. Now you may have just noticed that it was showing another type of crouch, and that's because there is a built-in function for this as well. So again, we can type crouch, and we'll say crouch, and then on released, we will say uncrouch. All right. So now, uh, the way that our crouching will work for right now is we will have to hold the crouch button to be able to, you know, crouch, and then as soon as we re release it, we will uncrouch. So if that's something that you want, um, awesome. But I think I'm actually going to set it up to be toggleable, right? So you don't have to hold it down the whole time, um, just because it'll be a little nicer that way. So uh, to do this, we will hold Alt and click to break this link. And off of pressed, we'll drag out and say branch. All right, and we'll break this link as well to create some space. And what we want to do is we want to get our character movement, and we want to check is crouching. All right. So if our character is crouching, right? If it's true, 
then we want to set it to uncrouch, right? And now if we're not crouching, we want to crouch, right? So it's kind of the, it's a little, you know, it's a little flip-flopped, but um, basically it's just kind of, uh, if you aren't crouching, then, you know, do this, otherwise do that. So we can compile and save. Um, I guess another way you could do that is to simply use a flip-flop um, and then you know doing it like that right hooking up these two like this um, but I guess I I prefer doing it this way just because you know if you ever want to have an event that uncrouches your character this this will always ensure that you you automatically um, you know the crouching states will be correct all right so there you go. A couple different ways you can do it based on, you know, your preferences. So compile and save. And we can go ahead and comment this out, calling it sprint. All right. Or er, sorry, not sprint, crouch. I'm getting ahead of myself. Next, we're going to do the sprint. All right. So the sprint's going to be a little more complicated, but um, I've done a previous tutorial on it. So uh, if you want, you can go watch that. But I am going to go through it kind of quick just for the sake of time. All right, so let's find some open space, and we're going to right-click, and we're going to type sprint. Now, Unreal does not have built-in functions for this, so we will create our own. Now, first thing we want to do is get our character movement, so we'll drag that in. And off of this, we want to set max walk speed, all right? And we'll hook up pressed to the set max walk speed, and then we can control W to duplicate this again. Um, so that when we release it, we will set the speed back to his normal speed. All right, so now let's go check what our current speed is. So let's click character movement, and we'll go to walking, um, and we'll look at max walk speed. So right now it's at 600. I'm actually going to change this to 400, just so it's a little slower. Um, so compile and save. And now the default is going to be 400. So that means whenever we release, we want to set it back to that default value, and then whenever we're pressing it, we want to set it to a value higher. So I'm going to hard code these to 600 and 400. Um, but later on, we might change these to variables. You know, if we ever have like a skill uh, or like a you know skill you can purchase with some skill points to you know maybe increase your your sprinting speed or whatever. All right, but for now we'll just leave it like this. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag off of here, and we are going to say set timer by event. All right, so the reason we're setting a timer is we're going to use this timer to decrease our stamina. All right, so to do this, let's drag off of the event. We'll type custom event. And I'm going to simply call this decrease stamina. And we're going to change the time to 0.05 and set it to looping. So what this is going to do is every 0 0.05 seconds it's going to call this event. All right. And that might seem pretty fast, but we're only going to be taking away a little bit of stamina at a time so that the the amount decreasing on our stamina bar will be a lot more smooth um, versus taking away big chunks. But it's entirely up to you whether you like how you want to do it. All right. So next thing we want to do is we need to do a check. So we'll drag off, we'll say branch, and what we want to check is if our current health is below zero, right? So as long as our current health isn't below zero, we are going to subtract uh, some stamina, but as soon as it is, then we are going to stop running, basically. So to do this, let's drag in our current stamina, say get, and we're going to say less than or equal to, right? So if it's less than or equal to zero, then we'll stop sprinting. But if it's not, then we'll decrease stamina. So off of false, we're going to drag out, say set stamina, or set current stamina, all right? And we want to set it to the value of our current stamina minus, so float minus float, minus some number, all right? So I'm just going to hard code this to 1. Uh, but you know you, you can make it a variable if you want, if you ever want to change it. Um, and we might do that later as well. But again, for now, just a value of 1. So we'll compile and save. And now for true, right, we're going to simulate stopping our character from running by setting their speed back to that default value. 
So we can actually select this, say Control C, and then go over here, Control V, to paste it. All right, and we'll hook up true, just like that. So we'll compile and save now. And the last thing we want to do um, for now, right here, is we're going to drag off of this return value, all right? And we're going to say clear and invalidate timer by handle. All right now, it is going to hook up the node, but we don't want that, so we'll hold Alt and click to break it, and then hook this up. All right, so basically, once we run out of stamina, it'll stop decreasing it. All right, it'll stop decreasing our stamina by clearing that timer. Otherwise, it would just keep taking away stamina, and that's not what we want. All right, so now we can go ahead and create the increased stamina, right? So once we release, we'll start increasing our stamina again. So we're going to do a similar thing. Drag off and say set timer by event. We'll drag off of event and say custom event. And this time it'll be increase stamina. All right, now this time, uh, again, we're going to do a branch. Uh, but we are going to check now if our current stamina, all right, get it? is less than or equal to our max stamina. All right, so we'll take our max stamina now and we can just drag that and plug it straight in. All right, because if our current stamina is less than our max stamina, then we know that we need to keep adding um, onto the stamina. But if it isn't, right, if, if the current stamina is equal to it, um, then we want to uh, Excuse me. Then we want to, you know, um, I guess stop adding stamina. Okay. So I guess just to keep it in line with how this works, um, I'm going to change this to a: is this greater than or equal to? Um, same idea, just different order. All right. So if this is false, we'll drag off and we'll say set current stamina to the value of our current stamina plus, so float plus float again. And now here I'm going to use the stamina regen rate, all right? Um, yep, there we go, just like that. And now if this ever registers as true, we will stop this timer. So we'll drag off and we'll say clear and invalidate timer by handle. Hold Alt, click to break it, and hook up true. So the last thing we're going to do now is we need to um, just do a few tidying up kind of things. So one of those is we want to drag off of here and say clear and invalidate again. And we'll break that link. And we want to hook this one up. All right. So whenever, whenever we start sprinting, we want to make sure that this event stops. And then we'll do the same thing here, clear and invalidate, hook this up. And now the very last thing we want to do is drag off and set one more timer by event make sure the time is at 0 0.05 and then it's looping and then we'll hook this event up to our increased stamina oh and I almost forgot set this to 0 0.05 and looping as well alright and then off of here we're also going to want to clear these so hook it up like so and one more time just like that Alright, so now if we compile and save, this should work. Alright, so just make sure you have all your nodes going in the right places. So we can go ahead and press save, and if we press play, um, now I'm, I'm jogging around right now, I can jump, I can technically crouch. You see that? The camera drops, and that's because it's signifying that we're crouching. And he's running slower now, again because he's crouching. And now we can go ahead and try the stamina, or the sprint, and you can see there it is, it's working. You know, when we release, um, it goes back up, but as we sprint, it goes down, and then, you know, it'll go back up. So, anyways, that is everything. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to look at adding some, uh, like a player level um, kind of thing, like experience points and whatnot, and skill points, etc., and then later on a skill tree and such. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, if you liked the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.